Hello, I'm Blanca from the Hercules team. Today I'll explain to you the mechanical design of the different parts of our experiment. We can separate Hercules into four parts. Main structure, upward environmental lab, downward environmental lab and a tool lab. The experiment main structure consists of two rectangular boxes, the heat transfer lab and the electronic box. The frames of these boxes are aluminum rails, which allow us for an easy interface between both boxes and with other components. The heat transfer lab is divided into four equal sections that home four of our experiments. The walls on both structures are made of either aluminum or methacrylate. We design panel mounts to fix the walls to the structure. For faster prototyping and sufficient mechanical properties, the panel mounts are printed in ABS+. An embedded nut will be then placed on the panel mount so the panel can be screwed into the mount and fixed to the structure. Several types of panel mounts are designed so they could be better fit the structure and for easier panel mounting. Inside the e-box, the PCBs will be stocked vertically. A structure was designed to allow an easy interface for routing. The PCB is fit on a frame plate that allows for space uh, for the connector and are separated with hexagonal spacers. The frames have embedded nuts in them so the connection panel could be easily screwed into them. An additional support structure was designed so that the cables could be better separated and routed. It's placed in front of the connector panel and allowing for enough space for the cables that go to the bottom PCB connect the e-box wall. The main structure is fixed to a gondola with 12 brackets and 6 intermediate pieces. As the main structure width is not long enough to reach the rails, rubber supports are added, are, are added to the interface in the back of the main structure, placed between the intermediate component and the bracket. The upward environmental lab and the downward environmental lab contain the radiation sensors. Both follow the same design philosophy, but different adjustments were made to each other to, due to uh, the, the different positioning. In both cases, the radiation sensors are placed on a support plate that is connected to the gondola through two parallel rods and four, and four shaft supports, one in each corner for better weight distribution. The rods are made of woven, finished carbon fiber tube. A clamp was designed to attach the two lab rods to the gondola. It will close with four bolts and locking nuts and it will have rubber on the inside for the clamp to properly work and close. On the top of the clamp there will be another staff support to attach with M5 screws and there will be four clamps in total, two on each bar. The downward environmental lab is directly fixed to the gondola with a similar system as the main structure. An aluminum plate was designed to work as interface between the gondola rails and the stud support for the rods. So the stud support is attached to the plate and the plate to the gondola. The plate will also have threaded holes to attach the stud support. For weight saving purposes, both support plates will be made of carbon fiber, manufactured in the university. And last but not least, we have the attitude lab. The Nadir sensor is manufactured via 3D printing at the university facilities with Altem 9085. The main body of the sensor is divided into three different sections, as seen in the pictures. Some of the sections are fixed through together with screws, while others use adhesive bond. The bottom section of the sensor is fixed with uh, screws to aluminum support plate with, that will be fixed to the gondola with rivets. This is everything. Thank you for watching our videos. I hope you like it. Uh, stay tuned for more.